This is the United Kingdom, and this is the distance you have to travel from the North Atlantic Sea to the North Sea, or as it's commonly known, the C2C cycle route. Spanning over 144 kilometers, this route takes you across the UK, battling steep gradients, bad weather, and at some points, just straight up isolation from any towns or cities. Today, I am going to attempt to complete this journey on one of these. This is a one wheel. Imagine an electric unicycle and a skateboard had a baby, you would get a one wheel. One wheels originated on Kickstarter in 2014, where their campaign exceeded their $100,000 goal to raise over $630,000. Since then, they've basically become a bit of a phenomenon for internet creators and EV enthusiasts around the globe. Now, one wheels can be pretty expensive, so I bought this one. This is a one wheel pint. I bought it for cheap off Facebook Marketplace because we like to save money. This version of the one wheel, it is the cheaper version, so it gets around six to eight miles on a single charge, which ain't good. If you saw my last video where I rode an electric scooter from London to Paris, you would know that the scooter had a range of 50 miles. And I was able to carry a petrol generator, which I strapped to the scooter, and that was my lifeline. This time I have about a 10th of the range and I can't exactly carry a petrol generator on this bad boy. But there is a but, I have a solution. From here, you can see a cable that runs out of my one wheel. And where does it go? Into my backpack. And when I open this backpack up, we have two 60 volt, four amp hour batteries connected in parallel via a splitter, which goes into an extension cable, which is wired directly into the battery of the one wheel. And if my calculations are correct, that gives me a roundabout 27 miles of range. I honestly haven't even fully tested this thing yet, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but the point of this channel is to throw ourselves in the deep end and see if we can make something that shouldn't be possible, possible. This setup took me a few days to make and I even ended up blowing up my fingers a little bit in the process. If you look closely, you can see the sea right there. I'm currently on the coast. I'm about to begin my journey from here to the other side of the UK where I'll end up in Newcastle. Guys, we're gonna give it a go. So, without further ado, let's get on the roads. Hell went. This is day one, mile zero. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Fucking great. Not off to a good start. <laughs> Now, one wheels are known for not being very good for long distances. I don't know why I chose to do it on this, but I wanted to make it a challenge. Last time, it was a challenge, it was hard, but we did it. So why can't I do this? But another thing about one wheels is it gets very tiring on your feet. There's a lot of balance involved. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to push through with this massive bag on my back. My foot's already tired. My leg's already tired. Ow! I've barely even gotten down to the end of this road. I'm four miles in and I had to stop because my leg is literally, like my feet are burning. It is so painful. <sighs> this is not easy. Even though this is a shorter distance what I'm doing, I think this is way harder. I just need to relax for a bit. So my goal for the day was to travel 23 miles from Drumbra to a campsite by Brampton. But after only four miles, I was truly feeling the fatigue in my legs and my feet. I was genuinely thinking to myself, that I'm not sure if this is even going to be possible. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this pain for the next three days. But I decided to take a second, take a deep breath, regroup and push on. I'm seven and a half miles in and my legs feel like jelly. This is awful. Why did I do this? It's like the worst vehicle I could have chose. So I'm now in a place called Carlisle. I'm gonna stop at a coffee shop and recharge my board and my legs. Cheers guys. I'm getting mucked by flies. So many flies here bro. Fucking hell. Even though there's tremendous pain in my leg, I am actually having quite a good time. I'm enjoying this, man. I wish the whole route was like this. Just no road, pure cycle pass. But no, I gotta go on roads where it's scary and people shout at me. <laughs> ah! Mate, there's a swarm of mosquitoes or flies or something. Oh my God. This is awful. They're in my eyes and my mouth, man. And I don't have my goggles this time. <laughs> a 
the guy messaged me on Instagram saying that he's gonna come and drop me a Pepsi. So I've sent him my live location. Let's see if he actually turns up. The cycle path has run out, so I'm on a full on main road right now. Cars come whizzing by. Look at this. I just got hit in the face by a bee. I'm scared. Yes, boy. What's good? My fucking god. Let me take it. Let me take it. Jeez. Yo, shit. My god. Bro, thank you, bro. I appreciate that, bro. You actually turned up. What the fuck? I told you you want a fucking sniper. Yeah, bro. I'll take any beat, bro. Oh, shit. Look what this guy just brought me. A Pepsi Max Lime. Are you mad? Hug me, man. Do you know what? I sent you my location. I was like, he's probably not going to turn up. I yeah, saw you. That was gassed. I'm thinking I'm going to go find this one. Even if you didn't reply, I was coming to find you. My with man, that. bro. Love for that, bro. No, I appreciate that, you, man. Brother. I'll see you later. <laughs> love, man. Man. Have a good day, bro. Oh, man. There's good people out here, bro. Look at this. Oh, I've just been blessed. What's your name? Reese. Reese, you're a legend, bro. Have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke, this guy. This is what I say, man. Do not underestimate the kindness of strangers. I put an Instagram story up with the location. And he said, I'm going to come drop you some food. Look, look at this, man. Now I'm going to chill and have this Pepsi. <laughs> They must be so baffled. Just some weird advanced monkey thing gliding past them. These roads are scary, man. I don't like riding on these main roads. I am now in a town called Brampton. Brampton. There's no one here. It's a bloody ghost town. God. Oh, my legs. Burning. Oh, God. So even though my legs were absolutely burning, I had finally made it only a few miles away to the first stop where we would be camping up for the night. We are two miles away from stop number one. It's been a long day. Oh, I just crashed. Oh, God. I smashed my phone. Going up this last hill, half a mile away. It just nosedived. I come straight off. Luckily, I didn't face plant. I managed to run out a bit and kind of land on the grass. But oh, I'm so close as well, man. Okay, we need to get there. Look at that. Yeah, I think we're good. It's just the screen protector. I always crash, I never get it on camera. Every time. When you're on low battery, these hills take a lot of power and it just cuts out. Look, I can feel it. It's trying to cut out now. Let's do it. Come on, let's go. Oh, don't cut out on me, please don't. Really slow, come on now. We've come all this way, gone through all of this and you're trying to give up on me. Why is there more hill? It just keeps going. I think we bloody made it. Let's go. Campsite. We actually made it. Oh, yes. Yes. That was long. Okay, let's get in. Here is tonight's bed. <laughs> this is where I'm sleeping tonight. Today has been grueling. I really did not think it was going to be as hard as this. I genuinely didn't think it would make my legs as tired as it did. It's just pure fatigue in, in the back leg. After like five minutes of riding, man, I'm just dead. My legs felt mashed at the end of that. But look, we're 25 miles in. We're at the first stop. Now I'm starting to get that feeling, that fuzzy feeling that this is possible and that we're going to make this happen. Tomorrow, we're going to be making the climb into the Pennines which is quite steep. And honestly, I think it's gonna test the range of the board. I don't wanna go too far tomorrow. I just wanna make sure we get through the Pennines and I don't get stranded in a, some random place. So I'm gonna get some sleep, wake up tomorrow, and then we are on day two of the journey. Shit, man. Already. We're back on the roads. Day two. I had a lovely sleep last night. It was a bit chilly. I have a very ambitious goal today to get to a place called Hexham, which is almost 30 miles 
away from where I am right now. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but one word, coffee shops. The coffee shop is going to be my savior, I'm praying. Man. Shut up, sheep. Fuck this challenge, man. My feet are just so fatigued, man. From all that riding yesterday, even like a mile on this thing, you're just seeing pure pain. It is, it's fun. These challenges are fun, but when you're in pain the entire time, it kind of takes away from the whole aspect. So after only a few miles in to the journey of day two, my feet were genuinely in unbearable pain. I was feeling unmotivated, frustrated and pissed off. And honestly, I just wanted to quit. But sometimes in life, when you are down, the universe sends you a sign. And that is when I met this woman. It's kind of like a skateboard and a unicycle mixed into one, but it's electric. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it, I love it. Thank you so much. The looks that people give me are so funny, I love it. But I'm, fantastic. thank you so much. I'm riding this from coast to coast right now. You yeah, of course you can. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. I it, just thanks. also, oh God, young people. Thank <laughs> God for young people. I appreciate that so much. Because, yeah, I don't know. I like to do cool, weird things. And yeah, this is a cool, weird thing. I just love young people. It's enthusiasm. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the young spirit alive. I've got one life, you know. I might, might as well make the most of it. I Get to tell somebody about it. <laughs> Well, you'll see the video on YouTube. Say hello to YouTube if you want to. Do you mind being on my video? You will be on this YouTube video. So say hello to. Well, I've got um, I've got a million people that watch my videos. So. <laughs> what was your awesome. name? Lizzie. 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 It was great to meet you. I have to go because yeah. I have a goal to get where I need yeah. to go. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you so much. Honestly, I've never seen anything like it, and I take my hat off to you, young man. It's absolutely thank you. phenomenal. Can I just take? Yeah, that's it. Oh God, you've made my. I, I tell you. <laughs> I love that so much. See ya. Oh, I love people like that. There's Karens and there's Lizzie's. Be a Lizzie. She's great. Some people, they see this sort of stuff and they think you're stupid, you're an idiot. And then some people, they see the magic in it, man. That gave me some good motivation then, because I can't lie. I wasn't feeling good, but shout out Lizzie. She made me feel good, man. She made me feel motivated again. Like, there's a reason for me to do this. I really am in, in the middle of nowhere right now. These journeys take me through some funny experiences, man. <laughs> Remember guys, it is not about the destination. It is always about the journey. And you might go through pain, you might go through suffering, but if you push through, the journey is always worth it. I know you've had a really bad day. But I'm right here, it's gone. And see the Starbucks sign. We made it to the stop number one. Not even where I want to get to there. But after this stop, I have to do what I've done today again. Woo yeah, boy. I'm booking a travel lodge because it's raining tonight apparently, and I'm not trying to get rained on in my hammock. We've got another 10 miles from here. Oh, my legs are feeling it. Oh, yeah. So with the goal of covering 30 miles on the second day, we were finally closing in on the second stop of the trip. But before that, I just had to make one last stop to charge. And we are covering the River Tyne right now. I'm not trying to chase the sheep, by the way. I'm staying away. Satin and sheep, they're a bit hostile. We're on the final stretch. Until stop number two, this is where I spend my night and I can relax my feet. Oh, 
Yes, we made it. Let's go. There she is. Oh my God, we made it. The Errington Coffee House. Oh my God, that has been a long journey today. Yes. I stop number two. And this is where I'm going to spend the night in this Airbnb. That is 28 miles today. Probably more like 29, 30 miles. We have now done 58 miles in total. We're getting close, you know. We're actually making decent progress. <sighs> Mad. I am going to have a shower. I haven't showered in like three days. All right, guys, I'll see you in the morning. It is the morning. Oh, it is the next day. Also, the third day of this journey. I'm not going to make any promises, guys, but I think I could make it to the coast today. It is 34 miles to the coast. I had the most fire sleep last night. I had a shower. I feel recharged. I feel ready. My feet aren't the best. This board is only supposed to go about six to eight miles, but I found a solution. I built a whole battery pack. Took me five days, I blew up my fingers, but we did it. And now here we are, almost across the UK. I'm gonna pack up now, and we're gonna get going. It's gonna be the longest trip of the journey. Let's make it happen. It's sunny, the sun is shining, the vibes are good. Quick break, my feet, man. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. That feels unreal. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Get a lorry to honk. Yes, lad. We got the support. I want to jump into the sea today. That is my goal. I have some announcements. Number one is I am releasing new merch. Yes, I'm releasing new merch. I'm releasing some Chase Freedom tees. Not only is Chase Freedom the slogan to my clothing company Ascend, but I feel like Chase Freedom really resonates with the type of content that I've been making recently. Chasing freedom, inspiring others to do the same, and knowing that you can do anything you can if you put your mind to it. These are the new tees that I'm going to be releasing. I can't wait to get my hands on some of these. If you would like to support the future of these videos, you can go to the link in the description. They will be going on pre-sale within the next few days. Every person that buys one will be entered into a competition to win a GoPro and a tandem paraglide with me and another person. I fucking love making these videos. I love going on adventures and I love documenting it. If you want them to get bigger and better, then please support if you can. It's absolutely fine if you can't. I love all of you guys regardless. If you can't, then just drop a comment, drop a like, because that helps in the algorithm. It pushes the video up, and that means more people get to see these videos. Those are the announcements. Back to the video. Look at this. Newcastle! Woo! We're getting there, man. We're closing in. We are finally off the main roads. We are on a path which follows the River Tyne, which will take me through Newcastle and onto the coast. We're making solid progress, guys. Very, very solid. I've never been known for my cautious side. You should know that I'm well aware. I don't want anything. I am now officially entering the outskirts of Newcastle. Look at this. We are officially in Newcastle. Yes. By no means is this the end. We still have to get to the coast, but we have made it to the center of Newcastle. Oh my God, this feels mad. Woo! Shall we go? 
Okay, we just had a nice little charge, which will hopefully give me the range I need to complete the final stretch to the coast, man. Let's get on with it. Do my love, and I'd stop thinking of this over. Let us just do. I am four miles away. I'm almost at the sea. I'm so close. I can see a ferry. Oh my God. I've almost bloody done it. So after three days of intense leg pain, almost giving up multiple times and almost 90 miles covered, I was finally closing in on the coast. Look at this man. Oh my God, we actually made it. Yes, we made it. Woo! Let's go. Boys, I made it. I made it. I fucking made it. I can't feel the bottoms of my feet. That is the North Sea. Coast to coast. So let us just do my love. And I'd stop thinking of this over. Let's just do my love and see where. Three days, 144 kilometers, all on a single wheel. The batteries worked, my legs are actually numb. Regardless, we pushed through and we made it. Look at that, man. Once again, my merch is on pre-sale right now. The link is in the description, guys. If this video gets 25,000 likes, I'm gonna take a YouTuber and we are gonna survive in the Paris catacombs for 50 hours. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace. Stop thinking of this over.